All right, Matt, thank you. On Tuesday morning, September 11th, two brothers from Manhasset, New York, Ten Dennis and Timothy Coglin, went to work at the World Trade Center. But tragically, only Dennis made it home that day. Timothy, who was a senior managing director for Cantor Fitzgerald Securities, did not. His office was on the 105th floor of the North Tower. One year later, Timmy's wife, Maura, and his two brothers, Dennis and Frank, have come here to pay tribute to the person they love so much. Good morning to all of you. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Maura, what are your thoughts as you approach this very difficult day? Well, I've spent the, the last couple of weeks, obviously, uh, not really believing that it's it's been a year. I've uh, it's been a year without Timmy, and um, last year, had you told me that I would make it through this year, it would I don't know if I'd believe it. And uh, it's just it's been a hard year without him, and I think a lot in terms of my children and, and how they've changed in the last year and how they've grown and and what he's missed and. Um, that's certainly very sad. You have three children. Ryan was just four and a half at the time of Timmy's death. Sean was almost three, and Riley was just seven months old. Mm -hmm. I know that you've worked so hard, Maura, to make sure that your husband's memory is kept alive, haven't you? I have, and, and uh, actually, if you had known Timmy, that it's been pretty easy. I mean, in, in such a short time with the kids, he, he had a huge impact on their lives. And they've really done a very good job of, of keeping him alive themselves. I, I mean, I certainly, we talk about him and, and everything every day and, and all day long, but they, they have a lot of memories on their own, and uh, that's, that's pretty impressive. Frank, as we look at a picture of your brother, uh, which we'll have in a moment, why was it so important for you to be here today? Because I know half the family said, we're going to do this privately. I know you had a service for Timmy at St. Ignatius. Uh, last night, but why did you want to be here? This is where he breathed his last, and this is hallowed ground for us. I mean, it is the site of unspeakable violence, but it's also uh, the site of such heroism. And so that's the reason why, I think, because for us it will always be where Tim breathed his last. I know that, Dennis, you worked at Euro Brokers. You still work at Euro Brokers. Uh, at the time, your office was located on the 84th floor. Of, of the South Tower. You went through the attack on the World Trade Center in 1993, and despite the fact that an announcement had come over the loudspeaker saying, return to your desk, after that first plane hit, you said, I'm gonna get the heck out of here, didn't you? I think a lot of us who had been there in 93 uh, realized that uh, we were very jumpy to begin with. You could feel some of the reverberation. Although we were in the South Tower, you could feel some of the reverberation from the North Tower. And immediately, all the people, many of the colleagues around me, especially the ones who were there in 93, looked up immediately from their desk. And the first thing you think of is, let's evacuate. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of our other colleagues were in different parts of the room, didn't see the security a man named Jose Marrero who came in and waved us out. Uh, we were close enough to the door to see that. And uh, unfortunately, he was lost, but uh, a lot of us made the decision to move quickly. Unfortunately, a lot of my colleagues did not. 61 yeah. employees were lost. I imagine you've been having a hard time wondering, why my brother, why not me, since you all worked in the same building? That must be very difficult for well, you. Well, we've been through so much in the last year. I mean, with my colleagues and with, uh, and with Timmy, especially thinking about them. I, I really don't think about that too much. I think about the fact that all that we can be thankful for and, uh, you know, you, you take nothing for granted anymore. Uh, one, one day, Timmy was here on September 10th, living a, a beautiful life, and, and the next day he was gone. And I, I think you have to accentu accentuate that, that you don't know what tomorrow will bring. We'll live today to the fullest and, and love one another. Do you agree with Christy Ferrer that uh, you'll be glad when this day is over, that the healing process can really begin perhaps tomorrow? Uh, well, I have to say, I am looking forward to tomorrow. Um, I think the, the healing process just continues. Um, I feel like I've been healing since last September 11th, and um, I, I was a little nervous about this day, and yet I think it's necessary and it's important that everybody remembers, and uh, I can get through it. And 25 families in Manhasset are going through the same thing that you all have. Thank you all so much for for being here, Maura and, sure. and Dennis and Frank. It's good to see you all. Thank you. Thank good you. luck today. Thank, Thank you. Matt, back to you.